Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Spider with FearNet, and I am sitting here with Simon Rumley, director of Red, White, and Blue. Um, and, but let's back up for a second, because for those out there that aren't familiar with Red, White, and Blue, if you yeah. could give us a quick synopsis of what, what this, the film's about. Yeah, sure. The, the, the film Red, White, and Blue, I, I, I've been describing it for a long time as a slacker revenge movie, and it's basically about three characters. It starts off being very much like a, you know, a Richard Linklater film or a, a, a Larry Clark film, like, like kids. It's kind of almost a character study of, of one girl. And then something happens, and, and then it becomes the, the, this much more darker, nasty kind of, but ultimately actually tragic, tragic movie. So if you can talk about that gray area of uh, people doing good or doing bad. You know, it, it's, it's really Hollywood films that, that, that really d dictate that you know, people are either good or they're, they're bad. But I, 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 th I think you know, in, in, in real life, most good people do some bad things in their life and most bad people do some good things. So, you know, I, I try and get the audience to invest in the characters to some point. It's the drama of humanity, it's the hor horror of what it's be like to be you know, human, really. What takes me to the dark side? Um, I, I think, realistically speaking, it's always been within me, and 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 certainly, you know, I, I've been writing scripts for a long time. I was writing short stories before that, um, and poems and stuff, and I, I guess it just comes naturally from within. <laughs>